Hi, in this video, we're going to take a look at how you can turn on screen time and how you can use screen time to manage your time using the mobile device. First, let's swipe up at the bottom to go back to your home screen. Then tap on the settings icon. And in the settings screen, you want to go down and tap on screen time. Tap on turn on screen time. And tap on continued. Now set that in screen time, you can have a weekly report of your usage. Uh, during that week, you can set downtime and app limits. You can restrict on the content and privacy. So you can set content and privacy restrictions. And you can also manage screen time for chewing from your own iPhone. In this video, we're just going to take a look at set, um, um, setting up for your iPhone only. So let's tap on the continue button. Then tap on this is my iPhone. And now the screen time has been activated. At the top section here is a graph showing you how much time you spent on your device for the last seven, um, seven days. On this side here is the time that you have spent. You can tap on see all activities and it will go on to more details. In this page here, it has some more breakdowns. You can tap on week or day. So you can tap on a particular today. So I'm just see if you tap on settings over here. So I'm just trying to tap on settings, but nothing happened. Now, just down in this section here, it will show you the most used app. So here you've got settings, you've got GarageBand, Facebook, it will show you uh, from the most used apps to the least used. And then you've got uh, pickups time, how many times you pick up your device. Uh, the, the data doesn't come, uh, str come in straight away. It may take a few minutes. Also, you can filter out by showing categories. So here, instead of showing apps, it's shown by categories. So in here, we can see that the most used categories is creativity. And then if you go down, you've got uh, pickups. How many times your phone has been picked up today? First use after pickup. So what is being the most first use after pickup? So you may notice after using your device several days, maybe perhaps the most pickup is Facebook or the most used app is Facebook perhaps. perhaps. Uh, also you've got notification details down here. So that is just the reporting. And then down here, you can tap on downtime. Downtime can schedule your device during what time and during which day your device go into downtime mode. And it says set a schedule for time away from the screen during downtime. Only apps that you choose to allow and phone calls will be available. So let's say I'm going to choose downtime every day uh, from, say, 10 a.m to say 4 p.m. So that's downtime. So from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. every day, downtime will be turned on. So you can see during downtime, all the apps here is time out. So say time limits, you have which your time limits and you can tap on OK or ignore limits. So let's see what happens if I tap on ignore limits. So then if I tap on that, it's a one more minute, remind me every 50 minutes or ignore limit for today. So it doesn't really completely block you out. It just kind of like reminds you that uh, you have used enough for today. Maybe perhaps you want to um, uh, take a break. If you want to go back in, you can uh, manually set the time for how long you can use this app for. So let's go back into settings. And here, that's the downtime. So that's kind of like set all the apps into downtimes. So let's turn that one off. And we go into app limits, app limits. So here you can set a daily time limit for app uh, categories you want to manage. Limit we set every day at midnight. So let's tap on add limit. In here you can choose um, let's say creativity and then I can tap on that and then I can individually select uh, each apps. So if you want you can select um, the whole categories. So that's all, all apps in that uh, particular category. Or if you want to select individual apps you can expand it. So we can expand it and then go down and then uh, expand the items. So I thought you can uh, Deselect, but you can't at in here. It looks like you have to select all. So let me see if I want to um, go individual. I have to first deselect that. 
So you have to first deselect that. If you select that, if you go there, you can actually deselect them. You have to deselect the main category node, and then you can expand that node or that section. And then in here, you have to individually uh, select each item like that. And so let's say all of these items has been selected, and only garage band is not selected. And then that means I can uh, use garage band except all the apps. And then if we can close it. Now you can go down and select any other uh, categories as well. So we just want to tap on that. And then tap on next, choose app. And then we can set the time. So let's say one minute. So we can sit for maybe one hour. And then tap on add. So each day you're only allowed to use those apps for one hour. Then tap on app. So you can see here, I have set an app limit for those selected apps. So only the apps that has been selected has a time limit. And if you want, you can tap on add limits to uh, add more apps or more categories in. And so as soon as you start using the app for that day, the time, the clock will start counting. And once your time limit has been reached, it will time out and so your limit has been reached and you can't use the app into the next day. Now this is quite useful if you are setting up your child's account. Uh, at the moment we're just going to look at setting your own device. So that's um, apps limits. And here you've got communication limits. Set limits based on your contacts. So here if we tap on it, it says limits apply to phone, FaceTime messages and iCloud contacts. Communication to non-emergency numbers identified by your carrier is always allowed. So allow communications during allow screen time. So you can set like who can contact you during the allow time. So is that everyone? You can select contacts only. So that means only people from your contacts can contact you during the allow screen time. You can also apply allow introductions in groups as well. So that is group communications. And then you've got downtime. So during downtime, who can contact you during downtimes? Uh, contacts only or maybe perhaps just the specific contacts and then from here if you choose specific contacts then you can choose from my contacts and select one of the contacts and tap on done so let me join downtimes then only this particular contacts can call me no one else so that is um, communication limits next we're going to go into always allowed choose apps that you want to allow at all times so regardless of um, what settings that we have set in previous uh, settings, we can choose an app that will always allow. So here at the top here is the allow apps. That means any apps going to this section will always allow to be used. So let's say I want to use the app stores. So I'm going to add app stores to the allow apps. So always allow apps are available during downtime. Or if you selected the all apps and categories app limit. So it's always going to be allowed. And then we got the last section here is the content and privacy restrictions. And if we turn on, you can see there is a lot of settings in here. And you can go into iTunes and App Store and purchases. So what can you do? You can set whether you can install the apps in here or not. You whether you allow installation of apps or not. Whether you can or you can't delete the apps. Whether you can make in-app purchases or not and whether it's going to require password always or don't require. And then you've got allow apps in here. You can set which app is allowed to be used in here. Then you've got um, content restrictions. So this is basically setting the rating for which you can download uh, movies, TVs, or music, or books. So let's say movies. And then you got the rating, so all movies allowed at the moment. You could set to, for example, PG-13. So any uh, movies out of that category will not be allowed to be downloaded. And then you got uh, music profiles. Here you got music profiles on and off. So there is a lot of settings that you can go into this um, content restrictions. So you can see for apps here, all apps uh, currently are allowed. If you set to 17 plus only or 12 plus only, that means uh, any apps that has a low rating, then uh, not low rating in terms of like for the age restriction, then it will not allow to be uh, installed on the device. And you got web content. At the moment it's set to unrestricted. 
So limit to adult website or allow websites only. So you can set the restriction here. So I'll tap on allow website only. And then only allow this website. So any website that you want to allow, you have to uh, manually add it in. For example, google.com or youtube.com. If you want to allow YouTube, you want to manually add them in here as well. So there is quite a lot uh, of um, content restriction you, that you can set. As you can see here, so you have to go in here and check and see what you want to set for content restrictions. You got Siri here, web search content, allow or don't allow web search content, explicit language, whether to allow you to use explicit language or not, and then game center, multiplayer games, you can use allowed multiplayer games or not. You got adding friends, and then you got screen recording whether you can use screen recording or not. So that is content restriction under screen time. And then you've got privacy, location services, and then you've got allow changes or don't allow, and then you've got a bunch of other things that you can go in here. So those are all the changes that you can allow or deny uh, settings. And that's it, so that is the screen time. And then further down, you got use screen time passcode. So do we want to set a passcode for the screen time? And then you need to put in the Apple ID if you wanted to, otherwise you can just cancel. So it says screen time passcode recovery. If you forgot the screen time passcode, you can use the Apple ID to reset it. So um, if you want, you can put in your Apple ID so that later you can recover your screen time passcode. I'm just gonna cancel for now. And say, are you sure? Yes, I'm just gonna skip. And that is the screen time passcode. And you've got share across devices. You can enable this on any device signed to iCloud to report your combined screen time. If you don't want to combine your screen time, you can just uh, switch it off. And here, I'm trying to make the changes, so it's asked for my uh, passcode. And then here you got set up screen time for family. So you can also set up the screen time for family as well. So that means any other devices that you want to set up, you can, uh, uh, you will have the chance to set up right now. So you can see here, we can add in the child account or create a new child account uh, if you uh, wanted to. And that's it. And the last option is that if you no longer want to use uh, screen time, we can turn off, uh, tap on turn off screen time. And that's it, it's now being turned off, and you can turn it on again. And that's it, that is uh, screen time on your iPhone 11 running iOS 13. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos.